My name is Sports Car Mafia, and I have a problem. I'm a freaking hoarder, guys. I need your help. In this video, I'm going to talk about, I want a sports car collection, but I don't know how to collect. So, hope you guys will stay tuned and, and watch the video and give me your thoughts on what I can do to become a collector. I want to have a nice collection, guys. Help. Help. Alright everybody, I've been gone for a minute, um, <clears throat> taking a little break, but during that break, I, 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 yeah, <laughs> I've had time to reflect and, um, you know, I realized something. I'm a freaking hoarder, y'all. I'm a sports card hoarder. I don't know how to collect, y'all. I don't know how to be a collector. <clears throat> Um, I've been sitting around watching other YouTubers' channels. Um, they're collectors, man. They know what to buy. They know what they're looking for. And, um, man, that's, they have really nice collections. I mean, cars, guns, and collectibles. He's one of my favorites. This has an amazing collection. And, uh, you know, my buddy Classic Pack Attacks check them out um very knowledgeable have has a a nice well-rounded collection and and sometimes i just feel kind of i've been feeling kind of lost like i'm a buyer and seller at heart that's what i do that's what i enjoy doing so i have a lot of sports cars that i intend on selling but um so i'm just coming today and asking you guys how do you collect how do you become a collector have a nice timeless collection that increases in value um where do you start i mean i know you buy who the players you like and you know collect them but but do you just buy anything and everything all the cards you can find of this person because i don't know if i want to do that i just want you know some the solid cards and what about you know do you buy the same same cards over and over or uh, what do you do? <laughs> uh, I know you probably collect players that you don't necessarily like or you weren't a fan of or that, you know, that may be older that you don't have any knowledge of or you never watch, I should say. Um, how do you determine which of those players' cards you buy? <sighs> Another question I have is, like, where do you store your cards? Do you so store them separately from the cards you're going to sell? Or do you just kind of keep them all together? Or, or um, of course you don't. Of course you don't. That's what I do. <laughs> That's why I'm here asking you these questions. But, um, like, do you, how do you organize them? That's what I'm asking. Um, and what do you do? Do you take the collection out and look at it every now and again? And love on the cards? And... Uh, or you just think about them or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what, um, hmm. Do you just get, do you get, ever get tired of them and say, eh, I'm tired of this one or do you just, like, that's, that's, that's what I, I don't want. I want to have cars that I enjoy and I'm going to enjoy for a long time. That's what I'm looking for. And, um, but not necessarily players that I've always looked up to maybe some other players but i don't know i know there's no right or wrong way to collecting but um i guess i'm just i don't know i know i'm just i just want to know how you guys do it how you build a nice well-rounded collection that you can show off and be proud of um you know do you buy multiple cards and sell some off or how many is too much what do you do that's all I'm asking. What do you do? Because um, I want to buy and sell. And then I want to have a nice collection. Simple. So right now, the only person I'm in my PC is Mike Tyson. I'm a big Mike Tyson fan. Can't wait for that fight, by the way. So I have these. I'm going to show you what I got here. I'm going to show you a couple of those. And then I'm going to move on to my recent pickups. Because I think you, you guys get the idea of what I'm asking here. So I'm not going to waste any more of your time. I just want to make a quick video. 
getting back into the swing of things and and hey I I can't sit around that like I know everything I know how to buy and sell find deals make money that's what I do but I also you know have a passion for um, sports cars as well so I want to build a nice collection so help me out guys all right y'all so <clears throat> If you've watched my videos, you've probably seen these cars before, man. But these are my pride and joy right here. Mike Tyson, the question of the sport, Mint 9. I have two of these. I recently listed one, and I got a $1,000 offer on one. I paid like 60 70 bucks for these. And uh, I turned it down. And that's when I realized, man, that I'm not just a buyer and a seller. I'm a collector. Or I want to be a collector. So, and then I have this one, Ring Lords. Uh, it's not the sample one. It's the one without the sample stamp. So, that's it. I mean, I have a, couple, a few other Mike Tysons as well, but uh, those are these are my pride and joy right here. This is my collection. Three cars. So, I mean, okay, prime example. If you're a collector, do you just keep one of these do you keep both of them? I mean, what do you do? That's my dilemma here. Do I buy more of these? Let me know. So, moving on to my recent pickups. Um, things that I've purchased here recently. Uh, let's see here. Alright. We got a Shaq second year bean team. Or second year Shaq Beam Team, I should say. Uh, 8. PSA 8. I got that for a pretty good deal, so. Snagged it. Told y'all I was picking these up. Uh, got a Curry. Curry Rookie. Mint 9. Another Curry Rookie. Mint 9. Now, this is a guy I think I want to I want a PC to. I think I want to start a Curry collection. I mean, he's, he's from Charlotte. Um... I love his game. So, I mean, you know, I think that's going to be something I look into. All right, I'm picking up some Magic Johnson, too, guys. Now, this is a, a PSA 7. I got this for a really good price, so I couldn't turn it down. I came home from work one day and said, I'm going to buy a bunch of PSA 7s. So, that's what I did. <laughs> Got the 86 Fleer. Now, these are all, these are all, man, sevens. I can, I can see, but, but hey, the values are have already gone up on them. I can sell them for more than I bought them for already. So, uh, I just had to get in where I fit in, where my budget allows. So, that's what I did. And uh, they are, but you can see they're all over the place. The centering, like top to bottom, left to right, the colors. I mean, some are bright red, some are, I don't know, light red. See, see the difference in that? Jesus. But, hey. What I buy? Four or five of these? They're all sevens, guys. And, um, you know, it's not all about the grade for me. You know, if the tens go up, they, the nines go up, and nines go up, they go up, seven go up, what, and so on and so forth. So, those are just some of my recent uh, pickups. Nothing spectacular. Oh, I got some more right here. Got another Shaq Beam Team. Picked that up for a really good price. And I just got all these Mike Tyson. If you follow me on Instagram or you see my Instagram, I posted these. I think I got every freaking color variation there was. Oh, there's a, there's a Teddy, Teary, Teddy, Tearing Ears Tyson. I like that one. Probably slab a couple of these up and keep them for the PC. But yeah, that's another question. Like when there's a car like this, there's that has all kind of variations. Well, these two cars. Do you get every variation, or you just say, "Ah, oh, one's enough"? Like, what do you do there? <sighs> Slap them up, get rid of a few, and keep a few. I think. But um, so that's it, guys. So that's my dilemma, y'all. You know, I know how to buy and sell, find deals, and make money, but I want to be a collector too. So any advice you have, please leave it in the comments. Tell me how you do things, uh, where I can start, and um, <clears throat> to have a nice, clean collection, uh, or whatever. 
any advice would be very much appreciated. Uh, I love you guys. Appreciate you watching. Tell your friends about it. We got some more. We got some things coming up soon. I'm going to try to get back on these videos and be more consistent and um, put out more content. But uh, yeah, please leave a comment and let me know how you do things and give me some help. Give me some advice because I don't want to be on that show hoarders climbing over cars and going around cars and swimming in cars and all kind of, I don't want to do that. So, uh, help me out y'all and we'll see you next time.